I had a car one time that was out of alignment. And you probably have had this experience in your own life too. I would let my hands for a minute of time off the wheel and it would go over, it would pull over to the right almost faster than I could correct it. And it became a tiresome thing just taking a normal drive because I constantly had to fight the direction of the car. Well, sometimes it's that way with our own lives. Sometimes we need a new alignment in our daily life. And I pray that you align yourself with God's love. That you align yourself with the reality of God's love. That you experience this. The love of God does not hold grievances this week. The love of God corrects itself and is the standard of your every thought. The love of God does not take offense. Offense doesn't pull you away. It doesn't get your alignment off. No, you bring it back and you align yourself with God's love. God's love. It sees only the truth in you and in others that we are all children of God. Some people may be aware of their indwelling divinity and may therefore act in um, a way that is balanced because they seem to have this as an inner sense. But others, as you know, are unaware of God's presence and therefore they may act in an unkindly manner. But because you are aligned with God's love, it doesn't change the direction of your direction in the day because you're constantly realigning. And going through your day without a struggle, without having to self-correct all the time, the direction of where you're going. As you align yourself with God's love continuously, you become a forgiving person. It is impossible to harbor an unforgiveness in you because unforgiveness happens as you're off-center and you're on-center with God. God's love it comes through you, speaking through you to others. And as you align yourself with God's love, it's something that other people feel and they can connect to that alignment in you and have it manifest in them. You are able to have a new sense of self, a new sense of others, you're able to participate in the healing process of receiving and giving love. And I pray that as you do so, that life becomes a wonderful journey. That you enjoy the journey just as much as you are anticipating the destination. And that comes through an alignment with God and alignment with love.